When I was a kid, my mom would give me a Batman action figure every time I cleaned the toilet. I don't do that now because I'm an uh, adult. Are you sure about that? Let's talk about it. Hey, everybody. I'm Sammy, a former professional movie watcher in Hollywood, here to highlight the good and the bad of YouTube. Why? Because we pay for this content with our time, the world's most valuable resource. So we all deserve better content. I am here to help content creators uh, recognize the errors in their ways and help them elevate their content. I'm here for people that just enjoy the YouTube product to uh, help communicate to their favorite content creators how to improve their content. And, uh, you know, I just want to see better content on YouTube. Uh, we are we are growing on this platform. We are becoming more professional on this platform. So I want to help content creators uh, do that. And uh, hopefully I can. Hopefully I'm making a difference here. Uh, today we have a content from a channel called YNAB. Short for you need a budget. Uh, you need a budget. I think you need a consultant. I, I need a budget. You need a consultant to help you a little bit. We're going to talk about uh, some ways to improve. You help people improve their finances. I'm going to help you improve your content a little bit, I think. Uh, I I am grateful for people like this that exist. They're trying. They have a, they have a good mission, trying to help people get financially literate, financially secure. I think that is great. Uh, they have a product. That's what the You Need a Budget stands for. It's a uh, software that you can use to um, deal with money better, I guess. Uh, maybe I'll look into it. Uh, you Need a Budget. I also need a sponsor. So, you know, I'm just put it out there. <laughs> if you want to sponsor, I'm, I'm here. They have 129,000 subscribers here. Uh, this video is called Can YNAB Keep Your House Clean? I maybe it can. No. I think it needs Mr. Clean uh, and some other chemicals, but maybe you can you can do that. Um, this has 5.3 thousand views at the time of this recording. Uh, you know, this this doesn't make me feel good because I know that they try. I've watched several videos from this channel, and uh, you know they do little fun skits and they do uh, you know they got a lot of personalities here on their channels. They do podcasts and stuff, um, and and they really try. They. They try. Like I, I can't fault them for not trying. They definitely try. They take a lot of pride in creating their content. Um, but sometimes you just need maybe an expert to come in and just kind of, you know, guide guide your hand. You're good at financials, but maybe not so much content creation. So you just need to bring somebody in that be like, hmm, let's let's adjust this. Let's adjust that. Like this is what you're good at. This is what needs improvement. This is how we can put all this together to help you. Um, talk about investing in things that would be something to invest in, but I'm going to help you for free a little bit. Uh, all right. So, uh, from what I can tell from this company, uh, they are all about this product, about helping people, uh, you know, with their money. Uh, and from what I can tell, I don't have access to their analytics or their business plan, but I can guess that they are not making this product for nine year olds. Um, the way that they're presenting their content, I would think that they're making content for nine-year-olds. Uh, first, first of all, what, I don't understand what's up with this background. It looks like you're um, a company that sells yo-yos or something. Maybe the West, what the Y is for. If I'm just stumbling upon your channel and just saw this when I hovered over the thumbnail. I would be like, oh, this guy is going to do a yo-yo trick or he works at a laser tag factory. This doesn't say anything about your app or your product. Uh, the computers kind of do. This is nice. I like this. We can talk about good things. I would like to see more of this, less of less of this here. Uh, I don't even know why this is here. <laughs> um, and then we get into some of the graphics that they use, right? Let's Let's go here. Okay. Yep. Uh huh. A little cartoon drawings, a little angry brain on a, this reminds me of Napoleon dynamite. Have you seen Napoleon dynamite when they just kind of like doing the drawings and stuff on this Pavlov, this childish type writing, uh, this kind of just goes on and on and on and on and on. Right. So then, oh, okay. Okay. Look like, yeah. So you're maybe your software, you can use a little emojis and stuff and you're trying to make it fun. And yes, like the financial information, 
can be like a little bit dry. So you're just trying to make it fun. But I believe that there are ways that you can make it fun without looking like you are selling your product to children. Um, you know, I, I would think you could come up with a little more, uh, an aesthetic that's a little more professional, a little more on brand. Uh, why not use an aesthetic like you use for your uh, software here? Yeah. Maybe you can, yeah, these are the little emojis are cool, but let's not, let's not make them look like you put no effort into, uh, your graphics here. Right. This is, uh, I don't, I don't know guys. Um, you know, I took a look at a different channel that does financial information, presented it uh, in an interesting way. Maybe, got, maybe go take a look at that. Um, but think about this, right? You know, if I if I'm someone who is trying to take my financials seriously, and you are a company trying to sell me financial information, um, comedy is good. But when you're using this kind of uh, graphics and uh, imagery, it just you it, you're putting off. Uh, uh, a presentation that not, not to take you seriously. And I know that you want to be taken seriously because you put a lot of time and effort into your content. So I would say, think about this, think about maybe changing this, think about maybe developing it. If you need help, maybe talk to a production designer or graphic designer or consultant like myself. And I would tell you all about how to craft a background uh, and to use different graphics because this, this together with this, you know, it, it just, um, it looks like you're selling me toys and you talked about toys in the beginning. So maybe that was the connection. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Uh, change it, please. <laughs> if you want to be taken a little more seriously, there are ways that you could still be fun, but not look like you are selling products and making videos for nine-year-olds. Uh, I guess that's it, everybody. Just just pay attention to it. Pay attention to how you are presenting your graphics, what graphics you're using, and it, does it accurately present your message? Represent your message? Does it represent your brand? Does it represent who you want? Maybe they want to be this. Maybe they do. Okay, then do it. I, I, who am I to come in and try to change anything? If this, if you're happy with the results of five thousand views on uh, one point two nine thousand subscribers, okay, then keep doing what you're doing. If not, maybe consider changing it. Uh, but that's that's the importance of uh, how you use graphics in your videos. Um, I like I said, like the mission. I hope wish you guys success as you continue. Um, if you like my content, like and subscribe, share it with somebody that you know that's a content creator. Or if you're an aspiring content creator, take my lessons and apply it to your content before you start creating content. So you can hit the ground running so you can start off strong uh, because you never know when you're going to get that viral hit, right? That hundred million view video. So take all of them seriously. Uh, if you want to send me a video, please do. If you're a content creator and like, Sammy, I need help. Tell me what I'm doing good. Tell me what I'm doing not so good. I will tell you either or. Uh, Till next time, everybody. Keep 